Is that... Is that it? No, we're here. Yeah, I guess so, for this section at least. Oh. Yeah, hold on, let's see. I know back where we saw the people hanging by the bridge, there was a section that I didn't explore. Yeah, this goes back to the camp. Oh, we should use the tab. Right, how far can we see? Maybe this will help me see if there's anything worth looking at nearby. This entire sunken place. Sunken, huh? Maybe that's Im implying some sort of um, a flood. Or it happened a really, really, really long time ago when climate conditions were just completely different. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we haven't been here. Just a random mystical rock. No, we haven't been here. This is new. More dark spawn. Close by. You know the drill. Where's close by? Right in front of me. Okay. Oh, whoa! They really do come up right in front of nowhere. Go oh, keep attacking, keep attacking. Get him. Dude, they all really come out of freaking nowhere. My goodness. It shall be done. We still need to find those documents, if they're even here. I have a few questions for you. What about? I think we asked about all these already, right? Never mind. Then let's get a move on, shall we? Yeah. Yes? Where are you from, Davith? I grew up in a village about a day's trip to the east. Little blot you wouldn't even find on a map. Haven't been back in years. I struck out for the city as soon as I could outrun my pa. I've been in Denerim for, what, six years now? Never liked it much, but there's more purses there than anywhere else. Doesn't Denerim mean, like, coin or something? So, you're a cut purse? A thief? And a pickpocket, thank you very much. Or was, anyhow. Who'd ever guess I'd end up a Grey Warden? No, that's why he's a rogue. So how did the Grey Wardens find you? I found them. I cut Duncan's purse while he was standing in a crowd. He grabs my wrist, but I squirm out and bolt. The old bugger can run, but the garrison caught me first. I'm a wanted man in Denerim, you see, so they were gonna string me up right there. What happened then? Duncan stopped them. Invoked the right of conscription. I gave the garrison the finger while I was walking away. Don't know why Duncan wants someone like me. But he says finesse is important and that I'm fast with a blade. <laughs> you bet your boots I am. Besides, it beats getting strung up. <laughs> Are we that desperate for people? Is David even that great of a rogue if he got caught? <laughs> he got caught, so I don't know, man. <laughs> well, okay. What do you think of Duncan? Alright for an old bugger. He's faster than he looks, too. What do you think we should do now? We still have to find those documents. I've never heard of a tower that stood for more than ten years in this forest. Why? Why? What's wrong? Is it because... Flooding? Or... A lot of war? A lot of battling? Let's go. Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? Yeah, I gotta remember to talk to people. Hey, Jory! No. I am ready. You said you were from Redcliffe? I hailed from Redcliffe, but Duncan recruited me in Hyover, a city off the northern coast. Oh. Have you traveled there? Have I traveled there? <laughs> um, I am from there, actually. I was in Arleman's <laughs> retinue when he attended King Marek's funeral. It was in Hyover that I met my Helena. I was smitten. She has the most beautiful eyes, my Helena. Now, for years, I found any excuse to return there. We married a year ago. Arl Eamon gave me leave to serve in Hyover, but I was attempting to persuade Helena to come to Redcliffe with me, at least until I was recruited. Arl. Arl is below Terran. I'm better. Okay. I come from a better family. I mean, this guy's not even... This guy's not related to the Arl. He's just a random dude. 
I'm guessing she probably died or something, so you abandoned her? Never. I will return to her once my duty is done and the Blight defeated. Oh, okay, she's here, she's here. It's just that he was forced to leave. How did the Grey Wardens find you? Last month, Duncan visited Hyather, and the ban held a tournament in his honor. I won the Grand Melee. It was hard to leave my wife. We married only a year ago, and she is heavy with child now. But Ferelda needs my blade, and I shall not falter. Think of it as providing a safer environment for your future child to grow up in. What do you think of Duncan? He has a seemingly impossible task, with a scarce handful of Grey Wardens, yet he does not complain or flinch from his duty. Does he have to make every one of us Grey Wardens? Can he not just gather a whole bunch of townspeople and be like, Okay guys, if we don't defeat the Darkspawn, we're all dead, so I want every single, every single person who can fight and wants to fight. Every farmer, every non-fighter, everybody! But he just doesn't make them Grey Wardens, is that not a thing? What do you think we should do now? We should find those documents. Although if they were so important, why leave them out here? Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Well, let's go. Indeed. Morgan's mother, probably also some kind of a wild person, like person from the wilds. Although what the implications of that are exactly, we have yet to find out. Okay, what's going on here? Just a random herlock? Okay, we're fine. I shall find you. Oh, there are archers up on the hill. Sooner we deal with this and then go up here, the better. Berserk. We're doing all right. There's still an archer all the way out over there. It's hard to walk all the way over, even though these guys are pretty disruptive. They're always far away. <laughs> Their dying noises take so long, sometimes it makes me think there's a new one nearby. As you say. Yeah. Uh oh, we've sort of. Wait. Did we go here? There's a bit of a strange piece of land here. Haven't found anything that looks like a... a locked box of any sort. Interesting formation of rocks here. Am I gonna take so long that Morgan's gonna leave before I get back? Probably. Interesting formation. But we can't walk in the water. So that's that. Maybe we do have to follow the instructions after all. The... The note said something like... Hmm. A pinch of ashes. Torn from a book on local myths and legends, the Korkari wilds are rife with legends and myths that have amazed and confounded scholars since the fall of Ostagar in ancient times. One such mystery lies behind the tale of Astia and Nebunar, two young lovers who lived in Ostigar. The legend says that Astia grew up in the company of Gazareth, a spirit of- oh, that's the thing we killed! A spirit of the earth bound to an overhang on the bank of a lake in the Kokari wilds. Gazareth began to fancy her, and they spent much of their days together, talking and laughing. Over the years, however, Astia became a woman and began to seek the company of men. When Astia met Nebunar, the two fell in love, and Astia hoped to bring her lover to see her spirit friend. But the spirit, angered and jealous, bade her be gone. Gazareth told her that she would never see it again, until she brought her lover's ashes and sprinkled them over their spot. Oh, that's what I did! <laughs> Astia was horrified, and she fled from the enraged spirit. But she began to miss Gazareth, and on the day Nebunarm asked her to marry him, she cut her beloved's throat! burned him and brought his ashes to Gizareth, knowing their marriage would forever sever her ties to her dear spirit friend. Wow. There are legends among the chastened that Gizareth still haunts the lake, and that those who sprinkle the ashes of the deceased over the right spot can summon the spirit. In memory of the contract with its beloved Astia, Gizareth will grant a single wish and then vanish, never to be heard from again. Oh, wow. 
A notice scribbled in the margin. Marcus, I think this is real. If you take the ashes I gave you and scatter them over a pile of rocks on an overhang, overlooking that half-sunken Devinter Dome, maybe Gazareth will appear and give you a wish. If the battle takes you there, I think it's worth a try. Okay, well, we confirmed it. Damn, though, this sucks for the guy, Nabunar. Astia clearly... I mean, I feel like she loves Gazareth, okay? She was just... Maybe she was told by people around her that men can only be with w women and they can't be with spirits or something, and then she just didn't realize it because she killed... She killed him! She cut her beloved's throat? How beloved could he have been? Not very clearly. <laughs> I have buried a sealed lockbox in our camp. A Tevinter ruin in the western reaches of the wild. Yeah, so that's what we're trying to find here. I guess I picked up this note, but I didn't realize. Along with a pinch of ashes. I just wasn't paying attention to the stuff I was picking up. Damn, okay, we, um... Maybe let's pay a bit more attention to that in the future then, huh? <laughs> Next time, we might not be so lucky. This time, we were able to, um... Kill it. But not every single time. That guy was red, too. Oh, spawn. we might have something here. Hey, the chests? Are we gonna be able to open it? Like, what if we can't open it because we can't open any chests? Okay, I am not doing hot. Whoa. Alistair? Checking out Alistair here. Alistair, would you like to hang back? Oh man. You've gotta go. Alistair... Kinda worried. If I control the person who's weak, oh, we're good. Then I can sort of run away from the line of fire at least. Do you heal up? Oh, nothing like a brush with death to make you not like death much. <laughs> what does reserved stamina mean? 20 reserved. Only he has that. Huh. Who knows? As you wish. Dark spawn dagger. What does gray iron mean? Is that a grade? A grade of resources. Our inventory is looking kind of... full. Okay, this is a camp. This is a camp. Is it this chest? Short bowl, mud idol, Rigby's field journal. Signs of the chastened. The chastened barbarians are nothing if not clever. They have hidden markers and signs in the arrangements of stones and rubble along the paths of the wilds. In this way, they mark trails, note places of interest, and even give warnings in a way that outsiders cannot understand. Interestingly, these markers look indistinguishable from a regular pile of stones. Oh. Regular pile of stones. I have dedicated my time to deciphering these signs, and I believe I am close to a breakthrough. The trail markers seem to point to a hoard, or a location used for secret storage among the chastened. I have only found a portion of the message, however. I think that if I could complete the message, find all the trail markers, I can find this cache and see what treasure the chastened have to hide. I have found one such marker near this camp, under a fallen tree leaning against the ruins. Each marker seems to point to one or two others. I hear rumors that a dark spawn horde is coming. I hope I can find this treasure before it's too late. Oh. A bunch of... A rock? A bunch of rocks? Is that what I'm looking for? But this is still not related to the... This is his stuff. Oh, completed quests. Here we go. Oh! No, 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 I didn't find it yet. And this one, this is still an active quest right now. What do you want me to... Um... Hmm. Let's look around. You said that around the tree here? Oh, it must be that. Very well. Chastened trail sign. Looky here. 
You would like something? What did I just look at? I mean, you looked at it, but... It didn't really give a... further thing. Hidden cash. Oh! You rummage around the rubble and find Rigby's secret cash. Inside is an iron lockbox sealed with wax. Take it. Don't open it. Somebody's final thing. We shouldn't be opening it. That's not good. We found the cash. Deliver it to Jetta and Redcliffe. Okay, so we'll be visiting, uh, was it Jory's hometown later on? And then this one... This one, did I have to do something? Are we missing a quest thingy here? We might be. This is the spot where he was gonna go meet his dad. We found his dead dad, but we didn't find the two large statues with a chest between, so maybe that's what this points to. Okay. Oh, hold on. I saw that, I saw that, no worries, I'm just looking here. There's another chase and trail sign. What was I actually looking for though? A pile of rocks? Okay, I feel like without Tab, I there's no way I would have seen this. Because there's nothing, I don't actually see anything here. They said that there is usually one or two more nearby, but clicking on it did not particularly <laughs> give me anything new. Well, I think that the worst that'll happen is that we miss a treasure or two. It's not the biggest of issues. Oh, have we been here? Oh, we have, we have. I think so. Right, this is the beginning. We <laughs> we wandered all the way back to the beginning, which is... Perfect, because now I gotta go follow the signs and look for the thing that was mentioned. Okay. Sure. So in terms of the map, I do think we've probably looked at places. Oh, these two trail signs. Maybe if we keep going down later on. But for now, let's go back to this thingy. I will pass under a fallen tree bridge, and then I'll have to pass a submerged tower on the right. Yeah, that's where the ashes thing was. And then look between a high ruined arc and a mossy standing stone. So pass the submerged tower first. Bellfruit. Oh, I didn't open that chest because I couldn't. As you say. So the submerged tower... I passed through... Oh! Submerged tower on the right. And then... A mossy stone. Hold on. It might be that area... Oh, hold on, hold on. I see there's two statues here. It shall be done. And there's some wolves too. Iron chest, that's gotta be it. Okay. Wait, no one near us, right? It's just the wolves? I think we gotta go around. Right, we were here earlier, but we didn't go... to this side. Can we? Like, is it possible for us to walk? Hmm, actually. These signs are here. Just trying to figure out the path. Uh, between a broken arch and a mossy stone. Oh, I'm- <laughs> it's right here, isn't it? Yes. I just walked straight past it. That's a lot of wolves and an alpha wolf. Okay, you come to me, you come to me. On it. <laughs> Yes, the rest of you, just wait. There's not enough room for you to be on the bridge here. You alright? It's 
too many people here. Hey, okay, fantastic. Very well. There was also an alpha wolf. Did you not come down? Oh, you dummy. You should have come to help your friends. Now you're alone, and we'll get you. We'll get you. Oh! <laughs> I fell down immediately. Because he got stunned. Whoa! Jory's getting eaten! Jory! Whoa! Whoa! Yo, Jory, you okay? That was actually a bit close. I wanted to save on a potion though, so I didn't I didn't help him on purpose. <laughs> All this. Was it worth it? Can I open it? We can. Chasen flat blade. Large wooden round shield. It is not better than the one I have right now. The Chasen flat blade is much better than the one I have right now. Much better. So, just immediately... Oh, I can't equip it here. I gotta just take it. A letter. That's the missing one. Farewell letter to Jogby. My dear son, Jogby. I fear this is the last letter I will write you. I have had difficulty finding the Chasen to bring them the Maker's word. I have, however, seen evidence of their passing. They appear to have left this area in great haste, possibly fleeing the so-called Darkspawn that are rumored to be gathering in the wilds in ever greater numbers. I have left you a weapon and everything else I can spare, my son. I will try to find you once I have found a safe place. I only hope that you will be safe. With luck, we will meet again. If you see her, tell your mother that I love her and take care of our family. Your loving father, Rigby. Hmm... Right, so now it became completed. This one's not completed until we see his wife, Jetta. Okay, we're taking the lockbox back to Jetta, but the sword and stuff, I think we can keep. And it's not gonna be like an unethical thing because his son is also dead. Oh, we can probably sell some of this. So iron, iron, gray iron, silver, right? These are rankings. And I can't organize these by... The damage levels, I imagine? But this is what- it's better than what I have right now. A random sword, a missionary left his son, is better than my family's sword. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay, good. What about my armor? I I'll look at this actually, you know what, when we go back into town. When we go to the merchant again. Let's not spend time on this now. So are we good then? Because... We still have the Chasen trail sign. We found three of them. But I'm not sure if it means that there's a cache somewhere around here. I'll have a look around. Oh! There's one more here. Wow, this is impossible to tell without Tab. Wait, 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 wait. These are the ones that I haven't discovered yet? Because that's what it seems to be saying on the map. Oh. There's one here in between two trees. I shall Over do it. Here. This is the last one that we see on the map. that okay the trail signs of the chasen have alerted you to an old cache in the korkari wilds which is where <laughs> i went to all the x's on the map but you're saying it's alerted me to a cache but i don't see where it's alerted me to exactly are you supposed to tell me? <gasps> Dude, again? Oh, there's so many. Can we can we activate them in advance? Oh. Oh, 
okay. But how do we how do we know that? Because it doesn't actually Oh. Oh, it's at the very bottom of the map. We could barely see that, and I can't scroll down. Okay. In the log. Oh! <gasps> do I even have room for all this? I don't. I don't. Oh no. Oh no, we gotta make some decisions right here. Probably drop some of the really crappy stuff. But the question is, how do I tell if something is really crappy? A dagger or two? Oh no, what if I drop something really good? <laughs> wait, wait, you know what? This might be stupid. But I can equip some stuff on people, right? And then probably that'll count for taking away from the inventory? Like if I put a if I put a fire arrow here. Yeah, that's one slot. All right. Fantastic. What is this? Like a choker? <laughs> we'll just do that for everybody. Except they might end up stealing my stuff later on, but that's okay. Oh, no, 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 Alistair. Al Al no, Alistair. You have that. Can also have a short bow alongside the- wait. Ah, the bolts probably go with a crossbow, not a regular bow. Do that. Give you a helmet. I'll look into all this later on. More, more in-depth, all right? Just not while we're in the wilds here. Now I gotta give you back your sword. Is that enough spaces? For now? Yeah, while I was walking around, I noticed something funny. If I look at my experience, it's 2,000 out of 3,500, right? And then Alistair also has some. But these two guys have zero. So I'm guessing these two guys will leave our party soon. They're not permanent. So I don't want to give them stuff, just in case. One more. One more. I'm Okay, we'll just put it in somebody's inventory then. There's gotta be a space somewhere. Alistair, hold a ring or something. There you go. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> inventory overload. You have two options, clear space in your inventory by destroying, selling, or equipping items, or purchasing a backpack to increase your inventory capacity. Until you do that, you won't be able to pick up more. Okay. I'm hoping we get back to camp soon. Once we... We should be good now, right? So we can go back to Morrigan. I believe so. There's nothing else here. Let's go then. Well, we somehow made it through the wilds. Felt like it was kind of hectic at times, but we were fine. We made it in one piece somehow. Your treaties yet remain with my mother. When you wish to go, I will take you to her. Here's a thought. Why don't we wait here and you go and fetch them? I do not fetch. If you wish to ask about your precious treaties, then come. Otherwise, stay. These two have some sexual tension. <laughs> Seriously. Mm. I say we go with her. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. I don't think we have another option anyway. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? <laughs> there is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Does your woman's mind give you a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as these boys do? I believe you have something we need. They did not come to listen to your wild tales, mother. True, 
They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. Oh. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Everyone's so eager to think they're bad people. Never once did we even imagine that they could be helping us. What do you mean the threat is greater than they realize? Either the threat is more, or they realize less. <laughs> or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> or perhaps they realize nothing. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Oh. Hmm. Morgan's gone? That was a bit... unexpected, I guess, because I guess our guys were hyping it all up. Oh, the witches are evil and bad, but then all they did was give us back our treaties and... that's it? Okay, all right. It is night time. It is night time. Ten Loge may not think much of the Grey Wardens, but the king was wise to bring you here. Yeah, it's the one good thing he's done. I suppose we can't really go back anymore, can we? Hail. Now be careful, there's more than Darkspawn out there, you know. Or maybe we can, but I mean, there's no reason for me to, so. Okay, sure. Nighttime. Let's go open that chest next to the Tranquil before we go back and talk to Duncan. Oh, the flower. Greetings. Are you one of the Grey Wardens that went into the wilds? Did you happen to see any white flowers? David mentioned you were offering a reward for one? I don't know for sure that the flower will aid my poor hounds, but it's worth trying. I have, uh, let's see, 20 silver to offer as a reward for it. <laughs> oh my god, are we gonna be that mean? No, I mean... I want to say a reward's not necessary, but I also want money. <laughs> that should be fine. Thank you for your assistance, then. Perhaps we won't lose as many hounds as I'd feared. Watch this be the kind of thing where, oh, if I didn't ask for a reward, he would have given me even more. <laughs> The infected hound seems to be doing much better for now. Thank you for your assistance. The natural remedies work too. Getting flowers. Oh, hello! Oh, you're sick! You poor thing. You... you look pretty bulky for a regular dog, because I guess you're not a regular dog. Yeah, these hounds are a little bit special. Y'all gonna stay in there? Okay, that's so... <laughs> Okay, come back out, guys. It Don't disturb the nice dog. Come on. Who is that? Oh my goodness. Why did you go behind Alistair? Alistair! Let's go! We got places to be. Get out, and then we'll... Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna walk around and hope he comes to his senses later on. Oh! Oh, I thought we could pick that up. No. Oh, uh, this dog doesn't look okay, but sure. I'm hoping Alistair will, like, teleport over later or something. Yes, here we are. Actually, we don't have enough inventory space right now. Give me a second. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Yes. Well, let me know what you'd like. Backpacks? Do you have a backpack? So the- the weapons? The ones that he has? I can probably- Okay, these daggers. Probably crap. Probably. If it's not, oh well. <laughs> but I think, yeah, we don't need that many weapons here. Especially if we have weapons that are better than the ones that are here. Steel, iron. Damage 5, damage 6. So we don't need the mace because we have the Barbarian Mace, and we probably don't even need the Barbarian Mace, I'm guessing. 
things that we can buy here i don't think is um something we need to worry about too much but do you have a backpack okay okay uh we need money we probably want to get this increases my inventory capacity by 10. okay i need i need a little bit more of everything so we, we sell some stuff and then we buy the backpack I think these are sellable. These are okay, right? The gemstones? Quartz cells were two. That's garbage. Um, well, I gotta sell something, okay? I just don't know what to sell because... Is there a definitive way for us to tell which things are good? Probably... What's this tab? Crafting. Let's not sell anything crafting related. And then quest stuff? No. Other. Potions? Probably no. So these we can sell some of. We don't need two sets of leather boots, probably. Hmm, okay. Give me give me a second here. Okay, I sold a bunch of stuff, mainly armor. And I think I have a little bit of space now, but honestly, 42 out of 70 is still quite a bit. I'm actually quite worried about the inventory management here. It feels like it's gonna be quite involved if I can't figure out what to really buy. But hey, at least I got enough money for the backpack now. Fantastic, 80. Yeah, I can't show what I sold because I was going in and out, so it's not in the buyback tab anymore. But I just sold all of my extra armor, basically. Not the ones that are like... Because these ones seem like they're from some kind of DLC, so I'm not gonna touch them until we can wear it. But I think we're okay for now. I also spent a little bit of time just looking through our armor sets. And I realized that the Chasen sword I picked up earlier, it's two-handed, so I can't have a shield alongside it. Which I feel like, you know, I'm a little bit worried about this because my skills right now are mostly for the shield plus weapon. Which means if I use a two-handed sword, I'm not going to be able to use any of it. And I don't know what to commit to. So I feel like in this situation, that's probably exactly why we have stuff like weapon sets. In my first weapon set, I have the family sword and a shield. And then in my second weapon set, we can try out the two-handed sword, and we'll just have a feel on how this goes, I guess. I also took the time to do a little bit of my tactics again. I think I get how this works now. Basically, they go through this like a line of programming one by one, right? So I made it so that if my own health is low on the first line, then I'll use the health potion. And I'll just basically try to pay attention to me and Alistair for now, because I feel like Jory and David might not stay with us for too long. So we'll see how that goes. And I guess we should probably do our points now, too. Hmm. I know Cunning is the one that unlocks conversations. But we need to, um... Like, for now, I'll go... Constitution, maybe? Strength? Strength? Yeah, this was leftover from a previous upgrade, I think. I don't think I have enough for the, um... Another level on that coercion skill. Yeah, see, this is where I'm, I'm a little bit scared to commit. Because it feels like... If I go into a tree... Like, if I do weapon and shield and I stop using weapon and shield, then everything I put into here is going to be useless, right? So because of that, I naturally gravitate towards these ones here. Is that okay for now? Threaten? Powerful. This is passive. Passive is good. Passive means I don't have to think about it. To be honest, I do find this quite overwhelming. I'm, I'm trying my best to keep up, but there's, there's so much to look at here. Is it okay if we just do threaten for now then? Adopts a challenging posture that increases enemy hostility with each attack. Oh, increases hostility. Drawing them away from other allies while this mode is active. That could be good. But it also means that I probably need to be really, really strong then. Hmm. Oh, both of them. Both of them are the, kind of the same. They catch my enemies' attentions. But looking a little bit further ahead. Disengage. Oh, the opposite. Perfect striking. Focuses on precision. Oh, this might be a good death blow. Restore stamina. Hmm, so by the end here, will I have enough points to get everything? I don't know. Let's do threaten for now then. Oh, I have two. This requires level eight. Yeah. If I look into duel... Hmm. This requires dexterity. I'm still afraid to commit. But I guess it really depends on how many points we'll get by the end here. Is it enough to cover one full tree? More than one full tree? Two-handed? 
Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll leave it at... Let's... I don't want to get two of the same thing, though, because these two seem really similar. I'll just leave it at that for now. And, uh, we'll see. <laughs> I never finish doing my level ups, because I'm like, Arr. If I... Is it okay that I just do cunning on my own character, then? Because my own character is the only one doing talking, right? Oh, Templar. Hmm, so Alistair already has specialization because of his past background. I see, I see. I think Constitution might be good for you because there were some situations where it was looking kind of... kind of dicey for you. Strength? Templar. Okay, can't do that. Warrior. Threaten or precise striking? This is so similar to myself because we're both warriors. Alistair does have a weapon and a shield right now. He specializes in other stuff. Okay, maybe... Maybe Alistair should be my blocking guy, because he has a shield cover and he, he can do shield stuff. Yeah, he blocks, everyone else does attack. If he blocks, I might have a bigger justification to use a stronger weapon, a stronger two-handed weapon to make sure that I deal the damage quicker. It could be one thing. Okay. Yikes, we'll see how that goes. Now finally! I've got room to look at this, which is going to fill up my inventory immediately, right? Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Now, is that all we got to do before we do the joining ritual? Yeah, Red Cliff, Tainted Blood. Yes, I think that should be it. Duncan, we are back with the blood. Oh, you're here! Welcome, young woman. Uh, I should go. Goodbye. <laughs> Back again? Don't the Grey Wardens need you? Off you go. I have preparations to make for the battle and I won't be distracted. Hey, everyone's gone. Guess they got tired of doing their voodoo magic, whatever they were doing. What were they doing anyway? They were tapping into the Fade, but what did, they, what did they actually do there? Is that how they restore their magic, or what? Hello, Duncan. So, you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? Not that it was easy, but yes. Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood oh. you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. Maybe we should tell you about Morgan and her mother. There was a woman at the tower, and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. That seems a little bit hasty. A bunch of non-Grey Warden people had our scrolls, but you don't care why or how or anything like that? Okay. And what if we have second thoughts? Let me be very clear on that point. You are not volunteers. Oh. Whether you were conscripted or recruited, you were chosen because you are needed. There is no turning back now. You must gather your courage for what comes next. Courage? How much danger are we in? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. Is that why the joining is so secret? If only such secrecy were unnecessary, and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that will never be so. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair. Take them to the old temple. I didn't get to ask about the contents of the ritual, but I'm guessing he wouldn't have said anyway. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Hmm. Calm down. There's nothing we can do about it now. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? 
I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. But that's not how everybody feels. But we don't know that, Davith. Don't we? The Grey Wardens have saved the world from Darkspawn before. I'd say they know better than anyone what it takes. You saw those Darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood oh! and mastered their taint. We're, we're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Of course, that makes perfect sense. Oh my god, we're actually gonna drink it. That's how we sense it, because we have a part of them inside us. <laughs> Is it immature if I keep laughing every time they say taint? <laughs> Ooh! How much money do we want to put on Jory and David not surviving? Those who survive? Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Oh dear. How soon do we know? Ooh. Uh oh. Make us breast. I am sorry, Davith. Step forward, Jory. But I have a wife. A child. Had there I is known. No turning back. No. You ask too much. Th there is no glory in this. Oh, my goodness. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. No hesitation. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. <sighs> Is that the Archdemon? It is finished. Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was... horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? That... Okay, drinking the blood, sure, but... the way Duncan killed... I'm sorry, was that Jory or Davith? I forgot already. <laughs> That was a waste of a perfectly good candidate. We could have at least forced him to drink the blood. Mmm, but it's all very cruel. It's not voluntary at all. This is how big this is. Nothing you said prepared me for that. Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. 
Such dreams come when you begin to sense the Darkspawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. What kind of meeting? The King is discussing strategy for the upcoming battle. I am not sure why he has requested your presence. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. Oh my goodness. Hey Troy. Nice to see you again. Do we have to kill the people once they find out that the, the ritual is drinking blood because we can't let the secret out? It's all very... I don't even know how you would describe it in a way because it's like... We're the good guys. We're fighting the bad guys. But actually, to fight the bad guys, we make the bad guys a part of ourselves. There's a very sinister feeling to that. Just like this background music here. Hey boy, how are you? Oh my god, I have to do points with a dog too? Really? Freaking, Be strong, be strong, Troy! Seriously? Charge. Knocking down opponent if it passes, unless it passes a physical resistance check. So what are these checks they keep talking about? Do they just happen in the background? We don't really see them. They're sort of invisible. Stunning. Okay, stun people. One tactic slot acquired. Oh, for Troy. Okay, that's... Just be a dog. <laughs> just be a dog. 